The more you expose your life to the world, the more people find ways to bring you down. It's a natural sociological phenomenon. There's something incredibly powerful about retreating and working behind the scenes, becoming unavailable, committing to evolve into the next version of yourself in secret can be exhilarating. You know that when you finally re-emerge, your transformation will shock the world. The funny part is, when that moment comes, you won't care. You'll have learned in the shadows that the only opinion that truly matters is your own. Let's dive into how to do this the right way. I'll break it down into three key steps for you. First, we'll cover how to disappear. Second, what to do while working in the shadows. And third, how to reappear. If you mess up any part of this, especially the last, you'll regret it. So let's get started. How do we disappear the right way? First off, shut your mouth. Your words betray you more than you realize. You need to get this under control. From now on, you won't talk about your life to anyone, not your family, friends, or co-workers. The only exception might be your life partner, and that's only if you're sure they genuinely want to see you succeed. Hopefully, the answer to that is yes. It'll take time to get used to this. The natural instinct we all have is to share information, but to truly disappear, you must learn to catch your thoughts before they escape your lips. You'll need to become a mystery to everyone around you. Only then can you effectively move in the shadows. Next, stop caring what others think. No one else's opinion matters anymore. To disappear and stay hidden, you need to reprogram your mind. The truth is, most people don't care about you as much as you think. The problem is, you believe they do, and that belief dictates your actions. You need to kill that part of yourself that's worried about what others think. Here's the trick. Create a version of yourself in your mind. The only person whose opinion matters is that version of you. Ask yourself, would that person be proud of me? Would that person be happy with what I'm doing? We're so used to living based on what others think. You have to flip that around and make you the other person. Over time, you'll stop being a puppet to others and gain full control of your own life. It's not easy and takes practice, but it's essential. Now, when you're disappearing, hide your plans. As you start developing ambitious goals, you'll feel excited and want to share them with people. Don't do it. Keep your plans close, as if they were the key to your treasure. Think of it this way. Every time you leak even a little bit of your plan, it reduces your chances of success by 5%. The more you talk about your plans openly, the more you hurt yourself. Be careful and intentional. If you need advice or help from someone, be precise. Find the right person. Share only what's necessary. Get what you need and then disappear again. Also, hide your progress. Progress will come even if it takes time and you'll notice that it comes faster when you disappear. But don't let anyone see it. Don't flaunt your improved physique, wealth or skills. Just focus on progressing even more. Disappearing is only worth it if you see it through to the end. Going back to your old ways halfway through will likely reverse all the progress you've made, leaving you back at square one. When you feel the urge to share your progress, resist it. Instead, channel that energy back into your efforts, pushing you further along your journey. And don't forget, hide your pain. Crushing it in the shadows won't be easy. You'll face challenges that might leave you physically and mentally exhausted. You may cry, bleed, or feel utterly defeated. Your instinct will be to share this pain with a close friend or family member, to seek comfort, but don't. Endure it alone. Let those tears flow in private, bandage your wounds, and use that pain to strengthen your resolve. Each moment of suffering can become a launching pad for another level of performance. Embrace the pain. It's where the real transformation happens. Now that you're ready to transform, the first thing to do is pick your target. What are you aiming to become? 
To transform, you need a clear goal. Be specific. Whether it's building a jacked physique or creating a money printing business, know exactly what you want to achieve. Write it down and put it where you'll see it, but make sure no one else does. Second, revolve your life around crushing it. Every waking moment should be focused on moving toward your goal. Become obsessed. Treat this as your one shot in life. Dedicate everything you do to helping you crush it. Whether it's moving closer to the gym or taking classes that help develop the skills you need, be intentional with every decision. Spend time each day working on your transformation and regularly review your progress. Break down larger goals into smaller, actionable steps. Whatever it takes, do it. Third, reprogram your mind. Learn to love this disappearing act. Learn to love working in the shadows. At first, it'll feel strange, but soon enough, you'll enjoy the solitude and the grind. This shift in your mindset is crucial for your transformation, so embrace it fully. Once you've accomplished your transformation, you can reappear. But by then, something interesting will have happened. You won't need to reappear. You'll find that life in the shadows, crushing it without needing validation, is far more rewarding. Now that you understand the power of disappearing and working in the shadows, it's time to take action. If you're ready to start your own transformation and embrace the challenge of building a better version of yourself, commit to it fully. Remember, the real reward isn't in showing off. It's in the quiet, relentless grind that leads to your ultimate breakthrough. If you found value in this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more strategies for leveling up your life. Share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what part of your life you're ready to transform in silence. Let's keep this journey going together. See you in the next one.